<laughs> to the great Aditi King Kabbalah. Where is she? Do we have hey, Aditi? There she is. Hi, How you doing today? I'm good, except that my screen is frozen on Leroy's face, and I cannot compete with a metaphor or allegory or whatever that compares running after a fat cop. It's a tough thing to follow. It is. None of us even know what an allegory is, so that's your answer. So you're fine. Anyway. Um, <laughs> All right, what, what is the word? It's not allegory. It's a metaphor or... Um, Similarly. Analogy. Come on, help Analogy. Me out. Analogy. Analogy. That's yeah, what I meant. Go. I came up with that on my own. I wasn't no. Nuggets to the rescue again. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, hey, Aditi, what was your re nuggets. first reaction when you saw the Baker trade yesterday? Um, well, we keep talking about it. I was pleased that he took the pay cut. Yeah. So I mean, I felt like that. this was going to happen, and that's mm -hmm. what needed to happen. I just didn't know that Baker would have caved as quickly as he did. And what's funny is I messaged a few people I know within the Panthers organization and said, okay, so what was it? Why was he finally convinced to take the pay cut? And nobody really had an answer for me. Aditi, mm -hmm. do you think – it's interesting that, there was, that nobody was sure. I guess in the end he just wanted to be gone. Do you think – no. go ahead. Okay, I actually disagree. And this is what we talked about, I believe, a week ago. I think that he ultimately realized that by holding out for the full amount of money from the Browns, he was cutting off his nose to spite his face. Yes, yes. And ultimately, his best bet was to get back out on the field. And right. as I said yesterday, affirm that he is the guy that we saw two years ago. Affirm that he is indeed a good teammate. Affirm that he can indeed lead a team. And bet on himself. And I said this on the radio this morning to our friend Ken Carmen. We know this about Baker. Even though it got a little old once he'd won the Heisman and was the number one overall pick, he loves the idea of being undervalued, undersold, having that chip on his shoulder. What better than this? Yeah. What better than saying, I was sent out of a town that I seemingly brought back from the brink of playoff misery or playoff absence one in 31 they sent me off i had to take a pay cut i'm on a show me deal yeah. all right great that suits well, baker in every way possible uh, aditi rob ninkovich yesterday at espn said sam darnold's going to be the starter peter schrager said yesterday hey there's a battle for competition i don't buy any of that that could be more fodder yeah. for baker getting fired up do you think he's 100 percent the starter this year or or does he have to earn it uh he will. Even if there, I think he is indeed the starter. I don't think that the Panthers would have been as fascinated or intrigued by Baker because I can also tell you this, not everybody in that organization was uniformly 100% sold on the idea that Baker Mayfield is the guy that is going to lead the Panthers to the promised land. So obviously there was a little push and pull there, but Baker is clearly seen as a better option than Sam Darnold. And even if there is a competition for show, I'll call it a competition, Baker's going to win. Baker is the better quarterback. Baker is the more accomplished quarterback. Baker will indeed come out as the starter. Whether we pretend that there's a competition or not, it is his job. I think that this is, Aditi, I think that you said that he thrives off of the fact of having to bet on himself, you know, with the, him winning the Heisman and him becoming the first overall pick and all that. I would like to tell you that this will be the biggest gamble he's ever taken because if it doesn't go well, that the money is gone. Like, so this, this season, for him to go in a situation where he's with the off offensive coordinator who rated him the sixth best quarterback coming out, with a guy who, with the team that has Robbie Anderson, who's rather, he's public saying he's rather have Sam Darnold. I think that this is, I, I don't know if I really agree with this situation that he's going into. And you know, Christian McCaffrey, right, well, we don't know his health, so. Well, I, I think that there are two things here. One, Baker sometimes thrives in these situations and Baker sometimes is tight, right? Last year he was in a contract year. And he wasn't necessarily as loose or free and maybe perhaps tried to do too much once he got hurt. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays that. I think that's totally valid. But I would also argue that any good coach is willing to have his mind changed. And I was just at the Pro Football Hall of Fame last week. Bill Cower gave his notebook from the year that Ben Roethlisberger was drafted. And it is on display in the Hall of Fame. 
it's got his rankings of all the quarterbacks, and he does have Eli first and Philip Rivers second and Ben Roethlisberger third. But I'll tell you this. He has a note in there next to J.P. Lospin saying most upside mm. question mark. <laughs> so clearly he was wrong there, but he's not ashamed of it. He's not embarrassed. He gave the notebook to the Hall of Fame and he said, go ahead and put it out there for everybody to see. So I'm sure McAdoo is going to sit here and say, all right, Baker, show me that I was wrong. And Baker will be happy to show him that he was wrong. Uh, and re- yeah, something? real quick, we've mentioned the McAdoo quote a couple times. Steve, let's take 21, just so everyone knows exactly right, what okay. we're referring to here. This was a tweet from yesterday. McAdoo rated Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, and Mason Rudolph ahead of Mayfield. He said, quote, I didn't think he was a great athlete. This guy is kind of like a pocket quarterback that is short with small hands. That's what I worry about. McAdoo is the new offensive coordinator in Carolina. So we've referenced that quote. Right. I felt like it was worth he, bringing Obviously, up. Baker is third of that group of six. Uh, but the quote is not unfair. The quote after it, I don't think, is unfair. No, I agree. No, no. Sure, I think with, there are a lot of hands. people that talk about his height. Remember, yeah. even within the Browns organization, Todd Haley was standing on a table screaming for Josh Allen over Baker Mayfield. Mm-hmm. And I think that whenever you are indeed a quarterback that's smaller in stature, you have this expectation that you have to be Drew Brees. You have to be ridiculously smart. You have to see the way the field, where, the way things unfold before they actually unfold if you want to be successful. And that's not necessarily Baker. You know, Didi, um, fast forward a little bit. Well, we, we, <laughs> okay. I, I, let's get, we got to get personal here. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. I get personal here. I don't know that I like when we, when you say that, G. This <laughs> might be like something about my parenting again. No, nah, no, you good. <laughs> we, we're not going that route. We good. Let, now, All you right. take, we take a look at this. Baker Mayfield is now, Jay talked about this is the best and worst thing that has ever happened to the Cleveland Browns because they get the chance to play Baker and he's excited to see the game. That's awesome. For me, I'm just going to say it now. There is no way the Cleveland Browns can afford to lose this game. Under no circumstances can Kevin Stefanski come out here and lose a game to Baker Mayfield because for me, that would be an indictment on Kevin Stefanski because I believe that the main proponent or the main person that stood against Baker Mayfield moving forward was Kevin Stefanski because he said, listen, I can't run what I want to run here. He has limitations. And so that means he chose to move on from Baker and he told you that he could do it with, with, with Jacoby Brissett or Dobbs or even uh, or, or, or even with Deshaun Watson. But he can't come out here and have Baker throw for 350 and three <laughs> touchdowns. That, that It's a must win okay. in this game one. Am I crazy? He ain't throwing for 350. All right. So, right number one, this was not Kevin Stefanski driving this ship to move on from Baker Mayfield. Kevin Stefanski has said on the record, and he has said to me, and I believe him, that he 100% felt that he could move on and win with Baker this year and that he was comfortable. He's on the record, remember, at the Combine. He was asked, do you think you can win with Baker Mayfield or is Baker Mayfield just starting? Are you comfortable if Baker Mayfield's your starting quarterback? He didn't hesitate for even a millisecond. I'm sorry to interrupt, though, Didi. Really, what is he supposed to say in that situation? He can't well, say, no, say, I'm not fair, confident enough fair. and this guy's terrible. And so I, I'd like to trade him fair. if anyone's interested. <laughs> Yeah. Agre- agreed. That is a very <laughs> fair point, Mike. But I believe him when he was. I mean, we've had conversations about it that are not in front of cameras. Mm-hmm. I believe him. He is not the guy that drove this ship that said, I can't win with Baker. Get me Deshaun Watson. Right. That's not the way this went down. But- Number two, gee, isn't it more on Miles Garrett? Isn't it more on. Okay. Denzel okay. Ward? Is it more on John Johnson? Isn't it more on those linebackers? Why are you putting it on Kevin Stefanski? I'd almost argue it's more on Joe Woods and his defense to I shut agree. down Baker Mayfield. Yes, I, I agree with that. I, 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 Joe Woods is not off the hook here, but Kevin Stefanski is going to have to get some points. I, I don't care how it gets done. The, the Browns should win the game anyway. Teams. They're the better team. Right, yeah. they got to win. Browns <laughs> are favored in this game. By the way, the point spread only changed two points. It went. The Browns were favored by three. Now they're favored by one. 
If Deshaun Watson plays in this game by some unusual chance, the Browns will be a touchdown favorite at least in this game, if, if not yes. more. If D-Watt play, if they, we're and they, so if, far away right now, guys. We're still a month oh, from training. Yeah, I hear. We don't even know who. Aditi, I got, Steve has a question for you. Steve, from wherever he is, he He's wants watching to, over. He, he wants to know. Does Baker and Stefanski shake hands after the game? Oh, that's a good one, Steve. Because you know, yeah, Baker I, is I don't think this is like the Hugh somebody. Jackson thing. I think they do. I do think they do. Uh, okay. And I, I think, think it was classy of the Browns. If Baker <laughs> wins, they do. If Baker loses, they don't, probably. <laughs> Well, I know. I mean, you all remember the way that he faced Hugh Jackson when Hugh Jackson was Marvin Lewis's assistant on the yeah. Cincinnati sideline. I don't think we see that. I yeah. don't think we see that. And I think it was classy of the way the the Browns sent that tweet out yesterday with all those tremendous photographs of Baker and thanking him for what he did indeed do while he was there. I do think that that was classy. Aditi, let's move on to what the Browns do now. Let's say Deshaun oh, Watson. Boy. <laughs> Let's say he and the Browns have already made five quarterback transactions this offseason, right? Um, yeah. okay, it's amazing. But they, if Deshaun Watson gets suspended for a year, I still don't think he will. But if he is, you're gonna, I think they'll make a sixth. At the very least, you'll have to bring in a third quarterback to go with these two guys they have. RG3. Yeah, well, that's I'm true. straight. Uh, I'm not interested in RG3. We've talked. We've talked. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is more likely than Robert Griffin. Yes. Basically. So yeah. let's talk yeah. about Cam the cartilage. If it, I think if only if it's the whole year, I think Garoppolo makes a lot of sense for the Browns. And I think if I'm Garoppolo, I'd be I'd be thrilled to play on the Browns. And if I'm the Browns, I'd be thrilled to have Garoppolo. He's a, clearly an upgrade over Brissett. I think he'd give them a better chance to win than even Baker. But let's take the Baker part out of it. Garoppolo to the Browns. Do you think that happens if Watson's suspended for the year? I Okay, so I think there are too many ifs right there. Is Garoppolo healthy? Is Watson actually suspended for the year? How much of the money do the 49ers pick up of Garoppolo's contract? Yeah. I just I think that there is, or can the money be worked out if there's another way to answer that? I think that there are too many what ifs. And the first one we have to start with is Garoppolo even pass a physical? Because remember, how far removed are True. we from that surgery right there? Yeah. And True. it also doesn't necessarily look likely right now, as much as we know that the NFL and their lawyers would like Watson to be suspended for a year, it just feel the, feels as if there are drips and drabs of information that are leaking, leaking, leaking that are yeah. suggesting getting that year suspension is going to be really difficult. Aditi, we're going to, we're, we've been going down a memory lane with Baker and his time here, obviously. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been obviously reading articles about stuff you forgot about. Some of the bad stuff, some of the stuff that he did that ticked off the locker room, ticked off Stefanski, ticked off the fans and stuff. And it, it, we really keep going back to this relationship meta, uh, metaphor where it's an ex who you are too close to at the time. And then all of a sudden, your friends, once you're broken up, and you're like, remember the time you forgot your birthday? And you're like, oh, yeah, he did forget my birth. <laughs> like, all that, that's where I feel like that's what we're all processing right now. How much is the locker room going to be improved, if at all? What do you think the vibe is going to be like in the locker room now that that's removed from the table? And how much does Watson's situation complicate that? I know. So I think the Watson situation obviously does complicate that, right? Because you ultimately want your quarterback to be your leader and your tone setter. And from what we're hearing in the spring, Watson has indeed done that. Gathering guys off campus, too, to throw in all that. If, if you're not the quarterback, if you're not in the building, then that becomes difficult. How does Brissett manage that if he kind of feels that he's a placeholder? And I again, I just quibble... I, I have a hard time saying that Baker was this universally loved figure that everybody was willing to run through a wall for. I don't know that I saw that, but I also don't know Baker to be a cancer. I don't mm -hmm. know Baker to have been a horrible guy. I think that Baker had foibles or has foibles that some teammates just kind of rolled their eyes at or was sort of like, okay, but it was sort of like, you know who he is. You know, you know he may over-dramatize some things. You, might, you know that he may be in his feelings at some times. You do sometimes wish that perhaps he was able to put certain things in silos, like after a game when he gets booed and he's frustrated, just meet with the media and just say vanilla things instead of needing to cool down. Right. Whatever, sure. But I don't think any of those things were these... You know, he wasn't publicly going on the radio and ripping someone for running the wrong route. He wasn't blaming the offensive coordinator for calling a bad play. He wasn't, you know, like he, 
Is he the most loved guy that I've ever been around in a locker room? No. Is he the most hated guy I've ever been around in a locker room? No, not by any means. So I don't know that it makes so much of a difference. And again, guys, Winning cures all. Every so winning matters. locker room is happier than every losing locker room. Like, that's just it. Yeah. From your lips to God's ears, Aditi, thank you for your time. Thanks, Aditi. We'll see you next oh, week. Have thanks, a good guys. Weekend. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Aditi Kikawala, good to chat with her as always. Bye.